Lecture series on STA 411, probability 4. Lecture 1, set partitioning and convergence. The disjoint subset E1, E2 to EN of a non-empty set E are called partitions of E if E is equal to the union of EI as I goes from 1 to N. For illustration, let this rectangle represent the set E and let the set E be partitioned as follows. Let this be E1, this be E2, E3, and E4. Clearly, you can see that E1, E2, E3, and E4 are pairwise disjoint. And their union is equal to the whole rectangle E. That is E1, E2, E3, and E4 are partitions of E. Term 1. Given N intersecting set E1, E2 to EN, there exists disjoint set F1, F2 to Fn such that 1. Fk is a subset of Ek for all k and 2. The union of Fk as k goes from 1 to n is equal to the union of Ek as k goes from 1 to n. Proof First, let us consider two intersecting sets, E1 and E2. This is the set E1. And this is another set E2. E1 and E2 intersect each other. Let F1 equals to E1. As let this set e, let this set e1 be equal to f1 and let f2 equal to e2 difference e1 i'm referring to this portion this f2 equals to e2 difference e1 clearly as you can see fk is a subset of ek for k equals to 1 and 2 that is, F1 is a subset of E1 and F2 is a subset of E2. And F1 union F2 is equal to E1 union E2. Now, let us extend it to three intersecting sets, E1, E2, and E3. This is a set E1, while this set is E2, and this one is E3. The three set intersect each other. Now let us uh, construct this joint subset of E1, E2, and E3 as follows. We let F1 equal to E1, F2 equals to E2 difference E1, that is this F2, and F3 equals to E3 difference E1 union E2. That is, if you remove E1, remove E2 from E3, we are left with this portion. Clearly, as you can see, that Fk is a subset of Ek for k equals to 1, 2, and 3. That is, F1 is a subset of E1, F2 is a subset of E2, and F3 is a subset of E3. And F1 union F2 union F3 is equal to E1 union E2 union E3. Let us now generalize our construction for N intersecting set. Let F1 equals to E1 F2 equals to E2 difference E1. 
F3 equals to E3 difference E1 union E2. If we continue that way, we will get to Fn equals to En difference E1 union E2 union until we get to union En minus 1. Please observe, here was E2 difference E1 and here is E3 difference E1 union E2. That's the union stop at 2. Well, you have 3 here. If we extend it to F4, F4 will be equal to E4 difference E1 union E2 union E3. We we'll stop at 3. So now that we have Fn, Fn will be equal to En difference E1 union E2 union. Then you will stop at En minus 1. Then, as you can see, Fk is a subset of Ek for k equals to 1, 2, 2, n. And this Fk are also disjoint. And clearly, the union of Fk as k goes from 1 to n is equal to the union of Ek as k goes from 1 to n. Convergence of sequence of set. A sequence of set E1, E2, E3, and so on is said to be an increasing sequence if for each positive integer k, Ek is a subset of Ek plus 1. And the sequence of set is said to be a decreasing sequence if for each positive integer k, Ek plus 1 is a subset of Ek. The sequence of set E1, E2, E3 and so on is said to be monotone if it is either an increasing sequence or a decreasing sequence. We note that every monotone sequence of set converges to a limit. Definition For the sequence of set E1, E2, E3, and so on, we define the following. 1. The limit of supremum of Ek as k tends to infinity is equal to the intersection as n goes from 1 to infinity of the union of Ek as k goes from n to infinity. And 2. The limit of infimum of Ek as k tends to infinity is equal to the union as n goes from 1 to infinity of the intersection of Ek as k goes from n to infinity. The sequence of set E1, E2, E3 and so on converges to a limit if and only if these two limits are equal. That's if and only if limit of supremum of Ek as k tends to infinity is equal to the limit of infimum of Ek as k tends to infinity. Term 2. Every monotone sequence of set E1, E2, E3 and so on converges to a limit. Proof. First, let us suppose that the sequence E1, E2, E3 and so on is a monotonically increasing sequence. Then, 1. The union of Ek as k goes from n to infinity is equal to the union of Ek as k goes from 1 to infinity. And let this union be equal to u for all n. Now, let us find the intersection of this union. The intersection as n goes from 1 to infinity of this union of Ek as k goes from n to infinity is equal to, since this union is equal to u, which is a constant set, it follows that the intersection of the union is equal to the intersection of u as n goes from 1 to infinity. Then the intersection of u as n goes from 1 to infinity is equal to u. That is, limit of supremum of Ek as k tends to infinity is equal to u. Recall the definition of the supremum is this intersection. Let us use diagram to explain this.
Let the rectangle here represent the set U. Let the inner set here be E1, then E2, since this is an increasing sequence. This is E1, E2 contains E1, E3 will contain E2, and so on. Then when we get to EN, EN contains every other set below it, and so on. So this sequence of set represent an increasing sequence. Then clearly, if you start from E1, the union of E1, E2, E3, and so on. When you find the union of all this set, as we uh, as EN tends to infinity, you see that the union will be equal to the whole of this rectangle, which is equal to U. Next, let us now find the intersection of EK as K goes from N to infinity. Here, the intersection of E1 and E2. Since E1 is a subset of E2, the intersection of E1 and E2 will be E1. The intersection of E2 and E3 will be equal to E2. So, if you start from EN, the intersection of EN as N, the intersection of EN, EN plus 1, EN plus 2 to infinity will be equal to EN. So the intersection of EK as K goes from N to infinity is equal to EN. Let us now find the union of this. The union as N goes from 1 to infinity of this intersection is equal to the union of EN as N goes from 1 to infinity. But the union of EN as N goes from 1 to infinity, remember, is equal to the whole rectangle, which is U. So therefore, what we have defined here is that the limit of infimum of EK as K tends to infinity is also equal to U. So we have shown that the limit of the supremum of EK as K tends to infinity is equal to the limit of the infimum as K tends to infinity. Since these two limits are equal, it follows that an increasing sequence of set converges to a limit. Next, let us now suppose that the sequence of set E1, E2, E3, and so on is a monotonically decreasing sequence. If that is so, then 1. Let us find the union of EK as K goes from N to infinity. For a decreasing sequence of set, this union is equal to EN for all N. And then let us find the intersection of this. The intersection as n goes from 1 to infinity of this set is equal to the intersection of en as n goes from 1 to infinity. And let this intersection be the set L. So what we have defined here is that the, li the limit of supremum of ek as k tends to infinity is equal to L. Let us illustrate this. This is a decreasing sequence. So this is E1. E1 will contain E2, E2 will contain E3, and so on. And this is EN, EN will contain EN plus 1 until we get to the set here, L. You can see that if you start from EN down, the union of EN, EN plus 1, EN plus 2, and so on will give us EN. And when you find the intersection of all this union, the intersection will give us the set L here. Next, let us find the intersection of EK as K goes from N to infinity. This intersection clearly is equal to L. That is EN intersection, EN plus 1 intersection, EN plus 2 to intersection L. That intersection is equal to L. And when we now find the union of this intersection, the union, as n goes from 1 to infinity, of this intersection will be equal to the union of L, as n goes from 1 to infinity. And they, since L is a constant set, this union will give us an L. So what we have defined here is the limit of infimum of EK as K tends to infinity is equal to L. We have shown that the limit of the supremum of EK as K tends to infinity 
is equal to the limit of infimum of a cascade tends to infinity. Hence, this decreasing sequence of set converges to a limit.